Hey everyone, Andy Raphael from eTechnics.com and today is the first day that we've done anything on video for Razer. So we thought we'd make it a little bit special. The Black Widow is probably one of their most renowned products that they have on the market. And they approached us and basically said that they wanted to send over the Black Widow uh, TE or Tournament Edition Chroma V2. So that's exactly what we've got here for you today. As you can see, very, very small keyboard, but don't let that put you off. You're gonna find that this is gonna be extremely great for um, competitive gaming, general kind of day-to-day -day stuff. And to be honest, it looks absolutely great. So let's jump straight in and have a look at the Razer Black Widow TE Chroma V2. Razer are back once again with their latest iteration of one of their most popular keyboards, the Black Widow Chroma V2 Tournament Edition. It comes equipped with all the high-end features we've come to expect from Razer, or any flagship gaming keyboard for that matter. This includes their Chroma RGB lighting engine and their fantastic in-house design mechanical switches. So what is the Tournament Edition? Well that's just Razer's fancy way of saying this is a 10 keyless design, meaning that it has a shorter keyboard design and doesn't feature a number pad. Cutting off the number pad isn't an option for a lot of PC users, but those who don't need it for gaming, removing it is a great way of freeing up extra desktop space, giving you more room for your mouse, while also making the keyboard easier to transport and store. Razer now offer three mechanical switch types, having moved away from using Cherry MX. They now produce their own in-house models coming in green, orange, and yellow variants, which deliver performance similar to MX Blue, Brown, and Red. However, they also have a shorter travel distance, much like the Cherry MX speed switches, making them great for gaming. Of course, with this being a gaming keyboard, it also comes with 10 key rollover, anti-ghosting, a gaming mode option to disable the Windows key, 1000 Hz ultra polling, and instant trigger technology. When you open the box, you'll find more than just the keyboard. There is a detachable wrist rest that is by far one of the nicest quality wrist rests we've ever seen. It's got a sleek and stylish design, but rather than being made from tough rubber or hard plastics, it uses a soft padded pillow-like design, which is easy going on your wrist during those long, long gaming sessions. Even better, it doesn't use those nasty plastic clips on the underside to attach it to the keyboard, which I'm sure many of you will know are prone to breaking. Instead, it uses hidden magnets that simply lock it into place. This makes it easy to install, but is also easy to quickly remove and pop it to one side when it's not needed. Also included in the box, you'll find a detachable USB cable. It comes with a thick black cable braiding, which not only looks great, but also gives it added strength. Of course, since it is detachable and just uses a standard mini USB connector, you can easily replace it with your own custom cable, which is handy if you ever lose or damage the original. The keyboard should look pretty familiar to any Razer fan, as it follows the same design principles we've seen them use on previous models. And that's not a complaint, as the keyboard simply looks stunning. The lightly textured finish to the keyboard chassis, as well as the keycaps, all finished in matte black, look great. Plus it provides a strong contrast for the RGB lighting. Don't worry about it being too dark though, as there is a reflective gloss white coating on the interior to help better reflect the RGB lighting. The keyboard comes with all of the usual features you would expect, with the top row of keys housing a second set of functions allowing you to control your multimedia, system volume, internal gaming modes, and more. On-the-fly macro recording allows you to quickly set the commands you need without tabbing out of your game, which is handy for MMO and MOBA gamers. There's also a master lighting control, allowing you to change the brightness from zero all the way up to 100% on the fly. The built-in controls are great, but to get the most out of this keyboard, you will absolutely want to install the Razer Synapse software. From here, you'll be able to customize the Chroma RGB lighting engine on a per key basis, which means you can create some stunning effects to suit your individual tastes. You have millions of colors to choose from, as well as a wide range of built-in pre-programmed effects. The only limit here really is your imagination. You'll also be able to program much more complex macros, and since every key on the keyboard can be fully customized and configured to multiple profiles, you can easily set up the keyboard exactly how you need it on a per game basis. Most users won't need this level of customization, but of course it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. The type of response on the keyboard feels great, and from working in the office typing those long emails to competing in esports tournaments, it's certainly got something to offer for everyone. With three switch types, you'll find something that is best suited to you, as when gaming, it is obviously a bit subjective. Our editor, Peter, he prefers the Razer yellow switches with the linear and silent design, while I prefer a more tactile feel of the orange or green switch. 
Priced at around £140 here in the UK, the keyboard is obviously not cheap, but it is comparable to any other flagship gaming keyboard in terms of features and price. And you could look at brands such as Corset, Rocket, Logitech to name a few. This is certainly up there with them. It's clearly not lacking in features and the build quality is top notch, so we think it's well worth the money overall. Given the added value from having one of the best RGB lighting engines on the market, a feature packed software suite for added customization, and that truly amazing wrist rest, it's easily one of my favorite gaming keyboards on the market today. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video and it gave you a bit more of an insight into the TE Chroma V2, uh, exactly what it can do, who it's for and so forth. And uh, hopefully like always, you just enjoyed the video in general. And now for the good stuff. If you wanna win this exact keyboard that's sitting right next to me, uh, we're gonna package it all away, clean it all up, put it back in that box and it will be shipping to one of you lucky viewers uh, right here. So essentially what you've got to do is have a look in the uh, description below and you will find exactly how you can enter the competition to win the Black Widow TE Chroma V2. And uh, that's pretty much it really. So good luck to everyone. And until next time, if you haven't already, remember to subscribe to our videos to get great video content like this directly to your inbox. Remember to give us a thumbs up and a comment and we will see you in the next video. Until next time, see you later.